You are known for footwear. You're known for so much more in terms of the fitness industry. But I do have to ask you what's been so front and center for so many of us, for so many investors this week, and that is the U.S.-China trade negotiations. How do you folks as a company um, and who sell around the world see those headlines? What's important? Because I think we're trying to assess where manufacturing is happening for so many different companies. Well, I think it is a very good question, Carol, and I understand that it's on top of mind for so many people. But actually, we are in the fortunate situation. We are part of the Adidas group, and we have a very diversified sourcing strategy. And you've been doing that for a while, right? Yes. Diversifying your supply yes. chain. So this makes us less dependent on the portion that we are producing in China. Okay, so not so much of an issue. Not so much of an issue. Having said that, China's an important market, right? Because you sell around the world. Yeah. And I am curious, as you innovate new products, and I said, you know, you're known for your sneakers. I remember your sneakers so well in college. <laughs> um, but you guys have made a commitment to being about 100% fitness, and you've seen growth, dramatic growth in apparel. Talk to me a little bit about that. Well, the uh, fitness industry is not just about footwear, luckily for me. Mm -hmm. um, Apparel plays an important role, and specifically functional product and innovative product. So one of the examples is the Reebok Pure Move bra, which we launched last year in August. And we, throughout our research, really talking to women, we realized that there is a real problem, despite the fact that there are a lot of bras out there, but they're either feeling pain while working out or not really feeling comfortable, so they don't work out at all. So we reached out and really created, with the Pure Move bra, the first innovative bra that combines the second skin feeling with the support that you need while working out. And I have to tell you, before we got started, you actually brought over a bottle of yes. a very thick, clear solution, <laughs> and that's really the chemical that or the compound that makes up this, this bra. Yeah, correct. That's just sheer thickening fluid, or we call it SDF. It is um, when, you, when you press it softly, it is fluid and elastic, but when you approach it with force, it actually stiffens. How much of what you're doing in terms of apparel, it's not just about design, although as I look at everything surrounding me, it is about that as well, but it is more about technology, different fabrics, really kind of exploring that to produce new products. I would, I've been in industry now for 25 years, and I have to say over the last 10 years, there has been a gigantic leap in the innovations in apparel. And a lot of it is because of the manufacturing capabilities that we have today, but also of the innovations that we're seeing on the fabric side. And it's our, our job is to find out what the consumer really wants. So everything starts with the consumer, and then we need to bring it back and find new ways, address it by creating new fabrics, finding new suppliers, or in the case of the Pure Move bra, really going outside the industry to come back to find a solution. Does that mean you're working with a lot of either chemical companies or companies that are creating different types of materials? I think about when I, you know, we all started working out, it was all just kind of the similar or same stretchy fabric. But I do wonder about what's the future of kind of fitness apparel. It is going much more diversified. It is, yes, working with uh, chemical, chemical companies, but it's also working really with the mills that mm -hmm. create those fabrics in order to create the right components, the right ingredients that really solve the problem. And then I would say it is today much more than ever, and it will be even more in the future, about finding those smart fabrics that really allow you to personalize your garments to your activity, to your body. Now, in terms of the apparel industry and apparel fitness industry, I mean, there's a lot of competitors out there. But from what I understand, you guys have grown that side of the business, I think, over the past four years by double digits. Do you continue to see that kind of growth? Yes. Luckily, we continue to see that growth. Obviously, there is a lot of competition. But as we say, it's also a lot of opportunity still out there. Because the fitness industry and the bigger wellness trend will be there to stay. And consumers are just uh, not only looking for products that they can work out in. They're also looking for product that they can wear the other 10 hours of the day while they are maybe out with their children playing in the playground right. or even commuting to work. Right, we're living in those clothes. We started off talking about China, and I know you guys, I think, had your first fashion show in Shanghai, and you've also uh, created, is it, um, I think, a creation center in Shanghai last year. It's an important market to you. When you are either selling into China or selling into Europe or some other market, uh, the U.S. market, are you designing specifically for that customer? 
So we are looking very closely into the regional specific needs. And it may be as simple as creating product and then making sure that we have Asian or Japanese sizing available. But we are also looking specifically for big markets like China into what are the product needs specifically for this market. So that's why we opened our creation center there and we are working very closely with the Shanghai Center to make sure that we are not duplicating things but also that we are maximizing innovations and products that we are developing here. One last question because we were talking about it. Cardi B to have as somebody you've partnered with, social influencers, social media, how important is that in terms of getting your message out and really kind of getting your brand out? It's all part of our approach to storytelling because we want to make sure that the consumer not just buys a great product, loves this product, but also has an emotional connection. Right. The same way that you have this emotional connection still with the freestyle. Right. And I have probably with millions of other products in the Reebok history. And this is important for us because this is what is the long-lasting impact that you can make with the consumer. I and Cardi is helping us doing this.